वेलकम टू पार योगा लेट अस प्रैक्टिस फुल बॉडी मॉर्निंग योगा फॉर 15 मिनट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद चाइल्ड्स पोज एक्सहेल प्लेस बोथ पाल्म्स ऑन द फ्लोर व्हाइल द अपर बॉडी इज आल्सो बेंड फॉरवर्ड एंड फोरहेड टचेस द फ्लोर योर आईज आर क्लोज्ड बी अवेयर ऑफ योर बॉडी एंड माइंड टेक डीप एंड फुल ब्रीथ एंड एक्सहेल स्लोली Rest and relax. After some time, place your right arm underneath so you can lie down on your right shoulder. Hips soften back down towards your heels. Relax in each deep breath. Inhale and exhale normally. Replace your right hand and place your left arm underneath. Relax. Your breathing is normal. Calm your mind and body to get ready for the entire day. Let us be on the table pose. Exhale fully. Slowly raise your knees above the mat. Hands gripping strong into the mat. Now we are posing for the downward facing dog. Breathe normally. Feel the stretch in the muscles of your legs. Your arms are holding you strong. Aim to form a triangle shape. Let's paddle gently. Gently guide the left knee inwards. Get it back. Then right knee to be guided left inwards. Your hips are still high, forming a triangle. Enjoy the experience. Be gentle to yourself. Breathe deeply and exhale slow and fully. Now step forward, taking tiny baby steps as you tiptoe to the front. Notice how good it feels in the back of your legs. slowly getting closer and closer to the front when you come all the way forward crouch down into a small ball the palm supports your weight and helps balancing and tuck your chin inside your eyes are closed and feel new sensations while crouching enjoy these moments as much as you would do for the upcoming poses Put your heels down as you stand up halfway. Legs are straight. Slide your hands up your shins. Press your heart forward. Crown of your head reaches forward. Now shift some weight forward to your feet to open up your hamstrings. Inhale deep and exhale slowly. Bend your knees. Let your head hang heavy. Inhale deep and rise all the way up to a mountain pose. Your fingertips reach up as you stand tall. Ease your shoulders. Engage your core by pulling your navel in. Exhale fully and bring your hands to the chest forming namaste and Lift your heart up towards your thumbs to bend your back slightly and get back to mountain pose. Inhale deep and exhale slowly. Fold your upper body forward, hinge at your hips. Come all the way down. Find halfway lift again. Slide your hands up your shins. Pull your chest forward. Inhale deep then crouch and curl. Come all the way down into a tiny little ball as before. Now let's flow into that sequence one breath one movement let us be so fluid that is if you are moving under water here we do not have actual poses to be on instead we are flowing between the postures exhale completely and as we inhale let us transit to our halfway lift exhale to fold forward gently and smoothly coming all the way up to mountain pose 
Inhale deep. Bend your back slightly. As you exhale, shoulders roll open, chest lifts up. While you inhale back to mountain pose, slowly fold forward as you exhale, coming all the way down for halfway lift. Find your flat back and crouch and curl. Let us get into the downward facing dog pose. Let's paddle gently, right knees inwards and out, then left knee inwards and out. Your breathing is normal. You aim to form a triangle, feel the stretches. Your neck hangs while your hands and legs press the floor. After some time into paddling, pause, exhale, slowly lift your heels up and down, such that the entire body moves up and down. After a couple of rounds, inhale and bend your knees, exhale, slowly step forward, inhale, slowly raise halfway to be in flat back. Exhale, bend your knees and drop your hands, inhale and gently lift your hands to be in the chair pose. Exhale while you slightly lower your hips. Knees are bent and hands are raised forward. Hold on for a few seconds. Feel the stretches. Lower hands to form namaste and drop your hands to touch your toes. And lift your body halfway. Let us be in a high plank pose. Lower your knees to be in tabletop pose. Your upper body is straight. Grab your left heel by left hand and inhale. Raise your right hand up. Exhale and release. Change the hands. Grab right heel and inhale. Raise your left hand up. Exhale and release. Inhale. Now let us be in the high plank. Exhale and be in the downward facing dog pose and paddle gently, right knee in and out, left knee in and out. Close your eyes, breathe normally, observe the sensations as they run all over your body. Observe your thoughts, how they wander around. The more you practice observing sensations, thoughts and feelings, the less reactive you become in your life. This simple practice widens the gap between stimulus and response. Your eyes are closed and visual distraction is removed and your other senses increases. After a while, slowly raise your right leg pointing towards the sling. Bend the knee, find some motion by lifting your left heel. Again, point the right leg to the sling. Hold and release it back to be in lower lunge position. Lower your left knee down to the floor and slowly pull your arms overhead for half moon. Engage your inner thighs as if you were trying to use them together for a strong base. Bring your hands together at the chest and inhale. Press your heart towards your thumbs. Exhale, twist to your right end. Place your left elbow outside of your right knee. Turn your chin over your right shoulder. Lower belly is drawn in, so you can twist a little bit deeper for a few seconds. Back to half moon. Arms are pulled up. Inhale deep and as you exhale, place your hands down and strengthen your right legs as you shift your hips back for Hanumanasana. It is an intense hamstring stretch. Hold on for a while. Practice observing the sensation that comes and goes. Relax your face and jaw. Walk your hands forward into a low lunge. Lift your back knee off the floor and balance it through your back heel. 
Now let us get into pyramid pose. Strengthen out your right leg with your fingertips supporting the body. Spin your back heel down but keep your hips squared off to the front of your mat. Step your back foot about a foot or a foot and half. This will make upcoming poses much easier. Now let us get into warrior pose 1. Deeply bend your right knees as you rise up and reach your arms overhead so your hips are still squared off to the top. Your back heel is still spun down. A lot of sensations are running through your back calf. Ease your shoulders, inhale deep and as you exhale out. Let us get into warrior pose too. And you might need to widen your legs as you open your hips towards the side of your mat. For reverse warrior pose, your hips and legs stay as they are. Just reach your right arm overhead. Your back hand is placed on your thigh. Inhale deep and exhale fully. Now cart with both hands down to the floor and get into a high plank. Inhale deep and exhale fully. Lower your knees down for half camel pose. Left hand down and right arm high. Inhale and exhale to change the hands. Right hand down, left arm high. Inhale deep and exhale full. Now come back to plank. Inhale to the downward dog. As you exhale and reach your left leg high and your knees sink your heel. Let it feel good. Next, inhale, strengthen your left leg. As you exhale, step it through to a low lunge. Then lower your back knee down, reach your arms overhead for the half moon. Keep a strong base here. Lower belly is pulled in. Bring your hands together at chest and inhale. As you exhale, twist to your left. Place your elbow outside your knee, turn your chin over your left shoulder. In each breath, get your heart closer to your thumbs and remember to keep your lower belly is drawn in to stretch out your lower back. Hold for few seconds. Pull your arms overhead for the half moon. Inhale deep and as you exhale out to be in Hanuman Asan. Lower your hands down. Shift your hips back over your back knees. Strengthen your left leg. Feel the sensations running around. Keep calm. Walk your hands forward for low lunge. Lift your back knee up together with your hips and balanced by the back heel. For a pyramid, strengthen out your left leg. Step your right foot slowly so you can spin your back heel down. Keep your hips squared off to the front. Try to get your forehead towards your shin or knee or ear. Notice the sensation intensifies. We observe it when our mind tries to wander around and distract us. We try to bring it back. The most important place our mind can be is within our body and our practice. Now rise up for warrior pose 1. Your left knee bends. Reach your arms overhead. Your back heel is spun down, but keep your hips square enough to the top of your mat. Slowly open up into warrior pose too. With your right arm reaching back, left arm reaching forward, your hips will open up to the side of your mat and widen your legs. 
keep your left knee tracking open. You can feel an opening through your left inner thigh. Then keep your legs as they are and reach your left arm overhead. Drop your right hand down to be on the back thigh. Reverse warrior. Inhale deep and exhale. Cartwheel both hands down to the mat. Be on high plank. Hold for one breath in. Be strong. Then exhale to lower your knees down. Get into half camel pose. Right arm down and left arm high. Inhale and exhale to change hands. Left arm down and right arm high. Inhale deep and exhale. Come back to the plank and hold for one breath and exhale. In the downward facing dog, inhale deep through your nose and exhale out through your nose and from this downward dog. Let us be in the child's pose to end today's yoga practice. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me in this practice. Comment below. How do you feel now? Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. See you in the next video. Be healthy and happy. Namaste.